What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to your daily Luna Classic update. Um, in this video, we'll, we'll just talk a little bit about Luna Classic fundamentally. Not too much. Yesterday, we talked quite a bit about the fundamentals and the, and the proposal that passed. If you missed that, a proposal passed that three full-time developers are going to be hired from uh, from the burned funds, uh, let, let's be honest, probably. Um, and uh, to be hired to maintain and to develop the Terra Classic blockchain. All right, that happened. We reacted fairly bullish, and, and just in general, right now, I would argue the, I would argue the market structure is is still very is still relatively bullish for Luna Classic. All right, uh, so we reacted uh, quite bullish, and uh, but then found resistance at around seventeen thousand and, and dropped down. So. Um, it's and, and apart from that, other fundamentals we could talk about is obviously everything happening with Binance. There's not a lot going on with that. The next Binance burn is going to be the, the, the 1st of March and we will obviously have updates uh, in the meantime, but I cannot predict when those updates are going to come or, or what they'll contain. So if that happens, I'll be the first to tell you, um, unless it already happened and I missed it. But that, uh, that, that would be pretty ironic. Um, and, and apart from that, obviously the Coinbase rumors, it's, uh, most of the rumors were that something was going to happen the 3rd of January. Maybe that's why we dropped down, because nothing really happened or nothing was announced. But um, uh, to be honest, I, I never really believed in, in the Coinbase rumors. Doesn't mean that it's not true, but it's just personally, I need to see some, some real proof uh, of uh, something that happened. But that, that's fundamentally what's happening with uh, Luna Classic. Apart from that, Burn tax yesterday was pretty high. On-chain transactions were high, uh, and uh, yeah, well, the total burn Luna Classic it's it's about 37 billion, as you can see. Compared to the compared to the market cap, still not a lot, but it's uh, it's uh, slowly moving on. Uh, volume is great though, at around 177 million. So um, <laughs> that burn in in March by Binance is going to be amazing, and we can definitely have a rally. Uh, because of that, but uh, th that's in the future and before that we might still drop. So what I said yesterday to get into the analysis Yesterday I said that we would need really need to stay on top of this level right here between 16,000 and 15,500 in order for us to still have a chance and It's a little bit hard for me to, to to say something about it because technically we still Technically we broke down below that but but, but we stayed in the area all right, but the thing is, is that obviously this was a lot of bullish momentum. The only way in which this bullish momentum could continue is if we break above 16,250. We need to do this. If we do this, we can get up to 17,000 and we can continue this rally. Uh, the chance is whether we can do that or not. All right, and I think right now we still have a chance, but we can also all see that there's bearish momentum right now. So the thing is, is that as long as I would say that as long as we're above 15,300, we can still break above 16,250, uh, which is the main thing we want to do. But the moment that breaks, it's over. We'll drop down to 15,000, take a break retest, and drop down to 14,500. And uh, I, I, I said that I was going to be a little bit more conservative with my analysis, but I think this given the fundamentals that we have is a little bit more likely. Now, I, I, I have to say, that given the technicals that we have and the market structure, uh, it, it would be a little bit more likely to expect something like this. All right, so whether you agree with me on the fundamentals, that's basically uh, what determines your, ch uh, your, your stance on Luna Classic. I think the fundamentals are, are not that great for Luna Classic, but if you think so otherwise, then this would be what you think is going to happen. Consolidation, then a breakout above 16,250 and a continuation of that rally, but um, yeah. To me, this seems like the more likely scenario. And then when it reaches our price target at around 14,500, we'll, we'll cover it again. I mean, frankly, from there, we could also uh, start going up again, to be honest. Um, so yeah, but that's my take on the Luna Classic for, for today. So if you do have any questions, as always, let me know. Uh, but for now, take care, have a great day and bye.